WordPress 4.9.8, which was just released, will include a prompt about Gutenberg, the new WordPress editor, and encourage users to test it out. So what's Gutenberg? It's the code name for the new editor that's coming to WordPress. It's going to replace the old visual and text editor that we know and love to hate. So this explainer page is built with Gutenberg. Every element on this page is a block. So this is a, this is a gallery block. And this is a button block. And this invisible space here is a spacer block. There are dozens of blocks available and you can um, have a look at them here. I've written an article about Gutenberg. So if you want to find out more, you can uh, check out the article. In this video, what I want to show you is what happens if you decide to actually try out Gutenberg. So I'll go back to the site and I'll click the install button. And right now, Gutenberg exists as a separate plugin. When WordPress 5.0 is released, it will be included automatically and be activated by default. So I've just activated Gutenberg. And once activated, it'll bring us to this demo. And it's uh, pretty similar to the explainer page before, okay? But what we're interested in is our existing posts. So I'm just gonna go to the all posts screen. And here are the posts that we created previously. Now, if I click on one of the posts, so we see that um, our content is still here and it's all contained within a classic block. So any content that was previously created in the classic visual and text editor will appear as a classic block. In theory, it will re retain all the formatting from before. And let's just confirm that on the front end. Okay, so this page looks good. This post looks good. Nothing is broken. Now let's go back into the post editor. And while you can actually edit the content right within the classic block, uh, what you might want to do is to convert it into separate blocks. So clicking that button here and then clicking convert to blocks will then change each paragraph into a block. The image becomes a block, headings become a block, and so on. So this process sometimes gives you an error, the, the converting process uh, sometimes gives you an error, but in my experience it's been pretty dependable. So now that the content has been converted to blocks, you can move them around by clicking the buttons or you can simply drag and drop them as well, like this. Undo your changes like that. You can add new blocks by clicking the add block button or uh, this insert block button. And you can um, you can edit the content and use the formatting options here. So you can set a background color or you can um, have a drop cap and so on. So to save your changes, you want to click update. Now, if we go back to the all posts screen, we'll see that the post that we just updated is identified as a Gutenberg post. So what's important here is all the content that you created previously in the classic editor can exist alongside Gutenberg. You don't have to convert all of your old content if you don't want to. So another big concern with Gutenberg is how it will work with plugins and themes that extensively modify the post editing screen. So that's right, I'm talking about Divi, Avada, and sites that use Visual Composer. Well, it just happens that this site uses Visual Composer, 
also known as WP Bakery Page Builder. So let's find out how it works in Gutenberg. First of all, we notice that the front end remains unchanged and is unbroken. So that's a big relief there. Now, if we edit the page, uh, we see like before the content is in a classic block, but this is no good. You know, it's going to be super difficult to edit. Luckily, there is a classic editor mode. So to get there, we need to go back out to the all pages screen. Let's find the home page. Now mouse over and then we'll see the classic editor um, link. So if we click on that, that will bring us to the all edit screen with all of the visual composer controls. So this feature, this classic screen, isn't going to go away in the near future. So you still be able to use your favorite tools while the WordPress ecosystem adapts and evolves around Gutenberg. So let's do a quick recap. Gutenberg is coming to WordPress 5.0 and will replace the old editor automatically. Content created previously will remain unchanged and more importantly, unbroken. So you don't need to update all of your content. Try Gutenberg now to make sure that you don't have any unpleasant surprises when WordPress 5.0 arrives. And if you want to learn more about Gutenberg, read up our article on clickwp.com. Happy WordPressing!